Hi everybody, today we're going to do a nice little interesting video. Often as fishermen we talk about knots and how strong knots are compared to our braid. And a friend of mine was so kind to, to borrow us his machine, he's developed this machine to test braids and knots. And we're going to do a few tests today. So I've got 50 pound whiplash, the, the blaze orange, and we're going to test the braid itself first. And then I'm going to do a few FG knots, test them, and we're going to determine at what strength these knots break. Alright guys, so just to explain to you, this is a homemade device. Um, how the scale works, as soon as the braid snaps, it's going to take a reading. So at that point where the braid snapped or the knot broke, it's going to show us a reading at what poundage it broke. So this is our little home experiment. Um, the machine is very accurate, but it's don't go compare it to Berkeley standards in the USA. It's, as I say, this is our little experiment and we are not testing how strong the braid is, we're testing how strong the knots are. So just for, to make our experiment worthwhile, we're going to test the braid itself before there's a knot, see at what poundage it breaks on this machine, and then I've got three knots of the same. So I've got three FG knots, we're going to test all three and take the average. And then we'll work out the percentage at which the knot breaks compared to the strength of the braid. All right, so I'm going to flick the switch and we're going to see at what poundage the braid itself breaks. All right, so it broke at about 55 pounds. It's 50 pound whiplash, so that's correct. It should break a little bit above the breaking strain. So that was a plain braid at 55 pound. So now we're gonna put our little FG knots on and do three of them and get the average. Okay, so our machine's loaded with our FG knot almost in the center here. So I'm gonna flick over the switch and let it snap and see at what bounds it breaks. All right, so our knot broke at 30 pounds. So we've got a 50 pound braid breaking at 30 pounds. But in the bigger scheme of things, I don't think it means a lot because you must also remember we're working on a very short little space here, very direct. Um, when you're fishing, you've got a long line, you've got your rod with play in it. So this is just an experiment to test the strength of the knot getting pulled over this short little space under immense pressure. So the first one broke at 30 pounds on the 50 pound braid. So I'm going to load it again with the next knot and see where that breaks. Right, so we're doing our test number two. Switch it on. Everything's 100%. Right, so test number two, let's go. Right, so our first knot broke at 30 pound and the second one at 35 pound. So there's a five pound difference, but both are not snapped exactly the same spot. So that's a bit of consistency there. Obviously we're at the bottom where your braid pinches is where it parted, and that's why I would have expected it to part. All right, so I'm going to take this one out and do the third one. All right, so there goes knot number three, and let's see where it breaks. Thirty-five pounds. All right, so that was a quite an interesting test. Um, so just a few facts: we did three knots, FG knots. I only did twenty-four. Plats. That could have an effect on the knot. Maybe if I did the normal 50 or how many, a lot of guys make that knot very long, but 24 is my sort of average I use when I fish. Um, I will do that experiment, make the knot longer, and it could be maybe a later video to see if the longer knot is actually stronger. Um, we, our first knot broke at just uh, 30 pounds, then the second and third knot at 35 point something pounds. So on average, it was over the three knots, 33.3 pounds we broke. And that gives us a 66-67% breaking strain of the strength of the braid. So, yeah, it's quite an interesting find. Um, I, I, just, I don't know what to say about what it breaks at, what it should break at. But for 
on a 50 pound whiplash, that's the breakage we had and just some interesting facts.